Welcome back to another episode of Couch Chronicles, where we answer your questions sometimes, half the time, all the time. Quarantine graduate. <laughs> yay, yay, for Emmanuel being back. Good to see all three of y'all interacting again. In response to last week, I, I DM'd y'all two women I'm entertaining. Yep. Feel free to let me know if they're worth risking it all for or if <laughs> I should keep it moving. I'm going to keep it professional, but I may offer one of them gas money for making up, making an upcoming shoot. Hashtag long game. Now I have another premise for y'all. After watching Boomerang, I realized how foul Eddie Murphy was to mess with Holly Berry, even though she was talking with his friend. Mm -hmm. How would y'all feel if either of you was in that situation? Does that constitute guy code? Side note, I'm planning to buy some brunches for my mom. Just got to put my <laughs> savings in my check-ins. Oh, yeah. There you go. Get your mom the brunches. Uh, first off, we looked at one of the girls. We looked at one of the young ladies. Can, uh, can I see it? It was not. Well, you were you, you too late. We'll have to show you afterwards. Was but. it worth it? Yeah, she yeah, she looked good. But okay. I didn't look at the first one. I looked at the first name you said. I didn't look at the second one. But I still don't say risk it all, bro. I say still, you know, play it cool. And if she give you that energy, then go for it. If not, don't worry about it. And as far as the other part, I don't, yeah, he was foul. He yeah, knew, he, he knew his friend yeah, liked her. Foul. Was with her. And that's some simp shit. That's some simp shit. We don't do simp shit in this house, so I don't think that's gonna happen in here. Do whatever makes you happy. It's the end of the world. So yeah, Lex Lock seven five seven. Hey, neighbors. Oh, a man yeah, been yeah. here. Okay. We call it trap de sac. Yeah, it's a cobra sac we all living in, so yeah. we call each other neighbors, and you'll see so it as we go. Pocket full of posy is the community leader, and yeah. so, yeah, and they've been, they've been bringing over barbecue. I That's like that. I, I yeah. like that. Yeah, you missed the, really you missed the barbecue like pet last weekend, so, you know. It's all right. Oh, man. So, uh, Lex sorry, Lock 757. Hey, neighbors. Welcome back, Emmanuel. It was good to see so. you pedaling around the trap de sac again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I respect your Bluetooth <laughs> <laughs> epiphany. Functionality <laughs> over fashion any day. <laughs> Question for the week has to do with working from home. As creators for the last decade and working for yourselves primarily in the crib, how the hell do you stay on task and not fall asleep? That's Laugh right. aloud, I'm That's constantly right. finding the same man in between calls. I admit I work from underneath my weighted blanket in bed, pajamas and all, which is already a setup. How do y'all do it? First, yeah. you got to get out your room. Oh, yeah, get out of there. Because your brain yeah. it knows that's time to shut it down when you go in there. Yeah, Subconsciously, you your there. brain is like, all right, it's time to get down, time to go down, especially if you're in your bed. So yep. you got to get up, you got to sit up and go somewhere and set up a workstation. Yeah, if you work from home, one of the best things to do is go to the library. Yeah. Wait, huh? Go to the library and work. What what library? The library is over? And then you not anymore, but back oh, okay. before, you gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha, I used to gotcha. go to the library sometimes. They probably still open and you probably won't have to wear masks in there. Ain't nobody else gonna be in there. Yeah, I know you ain't reading in there. <laughs> <laughs> Anila Marie. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, fellas. <laughs> I just caught what he said, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I was trying to help you out. I kept going. <laughs> Hi, fellas. I hope all is I well. It. This question is for Cam. I see they dropped a new series of supermarket sweep stakes <laughs> with Leslie Jones. Who are you taking as your partner and, who, and will you win? Also, y'all convinced me to switch to Team iPhone. I must say, so far, so good. Laugh out loud. Yes, I'm very excited. And if I had to take one person, I'm taking Mike because he used to work at a grocery mm -hmm. store for years. That's so smart. he knows what the most expensive items are, yeah, what our smart. most items are on. So I'm taking he, Mike. He got to take Mike. If he don't take Mike, he got to take Chaz because Chaz stay in the grocery store two hours at a time. And Chaz used to work at the grocery yeah. store too. So, so in when the he, bathroom two hours. Yeah, and, and then the grocery store. Everything two Chaz hours. does two hours minimum. So we don't see Chaz for four hours a day. <laughs> yeah. At least four hours a day we don't see Chaz. And yeah. Chaz used to work at the grocery store when he was a teenager. Oh, yeah. That was like one of his first jobs. And then he worked there again. Um, and they fired him yeah, because they said, You in the bathroom too long. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga this nigga Chaz showed up to the public's interview in a three piece suit. The funniest <laughs> shit. Yeah. The funniest <laughs> shit to me. About that. You know, you know, interview in a three-piece suit. No, at public. At there ain't public. nothing wrong with going in a suit. He ain't talk about that. But we, he had a three-piece no. oh suit. God, that's the to he didn't have to go that much. I'll never public. forget an olive he green. He got the job done. It was like an olive green. It was an olive green. It was an olive he green. He don't wear that. It was a that black oh, the gray pin. one. Yeah, with the pinstripe. Yeah, gray, gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's funny. I got olive green. But three-piece. Oh, yeah. yeah, he had the best under, too. This nigga's going to a wedding at Publix. <laughs> 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 this nigga went to an interview at a grocery store in a three-piece suit, my nigga. Yo. <laughs> chill, man. I mean, I don't even chill. know what I'm to getting hot. It's too hot in here. It's too hot. This is brother. Leave him alone, man. About time. <laughs> About time, Dad. Be hey, text Chad something hit the AC. All right. 
Um, Zach, about time dad beat ass and Manny is back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all funny. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me choke on this great. Y'all funny today, man. Enjoyed this week podcast as always, <laughs> but with y'all talking about it being a southern thing to get <laughs> to go get your own switches, how do y'all feel on the topic of whooping y'all's future kids, yay or nay? Do y'all think with LeBron winning this fourth championship, does that put him in GOAT conversations along with Kobe and MJ? Um, I wouldn't want to beat my kids, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, I'm kind of past that. I'm past that. <laughs> yeah. Beating kids. I feel like you could just talk to them. You can be really disappointed and that'll do the job. Sometimes you may have to, you know, grab them, but yeah, you ain't gotta, yeah. you ain't, I don't yeah. think you got to beat your kid. And that's and me and Sarah had a conversation about that <clears throat> um, on our pod, talking about the, you know, should people be beating their kids in yeah, yeah. 2020? Because, and I said, my thoughts were basically that I don't want to hit my kids. Yeah. That's not an intention of mine. But so not, and I would say that ninety nine percent of the time. Mm-hmm. But I say I always leave room for that one percent though. <laughs> like if I see my kids because bullying people, I'm gonna rough them up. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, rough yeah, them up. Beat them you know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm, I'm not necessarily that. with beating, so maybe that's yeah, the wrong yeah. thing to say. <clears throat> but I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put a little bit of that fear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or oh, if I see my too. son disrespecting his mother, I gotta rough him up a little. Yeah, bit. I gotta yeah, grab yeah. him like because he has to know there's nigga. You know where you at? Right? Yeah. There's consequences. There's consequences. Somebody's going to do something worse than me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then she could have old, or he could have an older brother that yep. you beat up or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever, being a bully. You know what and I'm then saying? especially a daughter. I don't want my daughter to think that it's okay for a man she loved to be hitting her. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah, what yeah, love yeah, is. Yeah, so I right. wouldn't want to beat my daughter or my son. None of that. Yeah. And then the LeBron. Or, or say if your son gay, I wouldn't want him to think a man beating him is what love is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> And then LeBron, uh, yeah, he in the conversation. People got to stop. Yeah, he in the conversation. Yeah, he, he's in the conversation. Oh, okay. oh of what? Of, of a goat. Goat with Kobe yeah. and MJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure, for sure. Ariana Miles. Wait, wait, let me sure I ain't... Okay, those are his comments. <clears throat> Ariana Miles. What's up, Ariana? Hey, DT. Hope all is well. I've missed a lot of videos because of school, but I listened to the podcast earlier today, and I bust out laughing school? when Cam <laughs> shared his story about mispronouncing maggots. <laughs> I did the same thing in art class back in middle school. I was reading a paragraph about Cinco de Mayo and mispronounced parade because I thought it was Spanish word and pronounced it parade. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so dumb. Since that ranks number four on my most embarrassing moments list, what's the most embarrassing thing y'all have ever done? Y'all stay safe, happy, and healthy. I already told it when I just do a short one. I peed in my pants in first grade. They took me to the office. The only pants they had in there was some girl pink jeans. So yeah. I had to wear that for the rest of the day. One of the most embarrassing Tragic. things, even though it was my mom, like I remember the first time she called me over because I had a shit streak in my drawers. <laughs> Oh, and I just I felt so un un man. I mean, I was only like nine or ten, but I remember she called me. And she was like, "Stevie, what's this?" And I kind of wanted. I now thought about the Kevin Hart shit. It's shit. Like, but it's, I was like, I, "I'm sorry, I just, I'm sorry." And she she was like, "You got a white belt." I said, "I know, I know." It's fat you. You know this. Stop. Stop. <laughs> what? Stop. We're not Fat doing you this. You never told me this The fans story. have already said you got to stop bullying. Stop. I'm not bullying you. I'm asking a question. Yeah, stop that. Because I'm trying to see how big the streak was. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a winning streak, nigga. That shit was boo-boo. <laughs> Fat uh, you sound like a good burger place. Fat you? Yeah, Fat you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great. That's, right? that's, that's, that's a great restaurant. That's a great fat you. Okay. But uh, I do have one similar mm-hmm. where I, I shit my drawers. Yeah. in elementary school, and this is when I was in uh, underprivileged school. Gotcha. Oh uh, yeah, okay. You know. Up in the mountains. <laughs> okay. Up in the mountains. You're funny dog. <laughs> it was in the mountains, right? Oh, it. it was in the mountains okay. that always got <laughs> flooded. And Isn't that <laughs> X Men? Usually the rich people. I mean, L A. in the mountains were you know Hilarious. up in the hills. Well, the rich people stay. You so. grew up in a house with a pool. It's Florida. It's hot. <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I was there. So this, I had the same situation as you, but I had like roommates and shit. So I had like, oh, oh, okay. friends, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. hall. Yeah. And so when I shipped my drawers, I tried to put it, the only, you know, the way we wash clothes, you put it in like a little hamper, mm-hmm. like a clothes bag. Mm-hmm. And and then you put it in, the, in a big bin with mm-hmm. everybody else's and they wash it. And I tried to put my shitty ass drawers oh, in the man. in the bag, and I threw it in there with the rest of the stuff. And I just remember my scary ass 
uh, what do they call it? They called it. Uh, it was like a person that took care of all the the yeah, kids at this age. Or, uh, he was like a living chaperone. Yeah, like, like he lived RA there. Type him and his family lived there, and, and we were. Yeah, yeah. And then there, yeah, so there were different floors, like the the sixth, fifth, mm-hmm. sixth graders, and then you got high schoolers up top. So on our floor was like elementary school, uh, the boys, and uh, the Amazon show. This is scaring me. Because uh, <laughs> he he was this big, scary-ass mm-hmm. white dude, country-ass accent. He had that lip like Elvis. Oh, yeah, that kind of turn. little bent lip. Oh, yeah, that bent lip like this. Mm-hmm. And and he had a computer that talked. This was in 90, like, 5. That's, it was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, all I heard was, Emmanuel! And I said, oh, shit. <laughs> he found out about my shit. <laughs> he said... I said, yeah. He said, is this your goddamn drawers? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty ass drawers in the lunch. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, you are going to hand wash this shit right out. Oh I my had to God. go hand wash. You hand wash some shit? Some yeah, you shit got to. Yeah, those are, my, you got to throw them away. Them them done. Done. Yeah, I pretty much threw it away because yeah, yeah. I told him. I was like, I, he was like, he said, no, duh. <laughs> he said, no shit. <laughs> That's a, no and shit. And so, yeah, that was embarrassing. That's funny. Young Deuces. Yeah. What's good, Kings? What Checking up? in with a question we recently had on the podcast, but I want to get y'all thoughts. Would you rather be stranded at sea or stranded in the jungle? Mm. Man, that's a, that's Shit, tough. That is tough. I may, as much as I despise the jungle, I may have to do the yeah, jungle. Yeah, I might have to do It's more resources at least. Yeah, but the sea, you I just, feel like there's a chance with the jungle. The earth is seventy percent water. I can float for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, did like, you hear nigga. about a woman that got found at sea after like twelve years of missing? I believe it. I believe it. I we, don't even understand. Because here's the thing: when no. I think about missing, she was found at sea. When I think just about on, how you know, life raft. Listen, twelve years. I think it was the like thing about because no you can go around it. Listen, my, Hawaii is five. Hours. Listen, I, Hawaii is five hours from us. Think about that. Like, really think about that. It's five hours of water before you get to Hawaii. And that's flying. And that's it. flying. <sighs> I could be floating for, <laughs> for I don't know how long. Nah, man. And between th- Hawaii and like. Japan or something. That's a whole up. That's a, that's a whole up. That's six, five, six. Seventy-five hours. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Brother Charles. What's up, fam? Been rocking with y'all since Penny Pong and fucking with Chaz days. Finally finessed the coins to move into the trap to sack. There you go. Good hey. to have Emmanuel back, too, because you know we rep Alexandria, Virginia hey. hard around here. Anyway, Remember me the and my lady baby. recently started a podcast called The Hopeful Romantics on YouTube, mm-hmm. nice. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We break down the reasons why love and relationships don't have to be so negative, toxic, and traumatic like people make them out to be. Now, when out. done right, can be truly uplifting and fulfilling experience. My question is, for the most part, would you guys say that your experience with love have been mostly positive or negative, i.e., or are y'all hopeful or hopeless rom- romantics? As always, much love to y'all and stay blessed. If y'all ever have the chance to watch, listen to an episode, <laughs> that'd be hella dope. Also, my food stamps hit today, so fake bougie ramen <laughs> and fried bologna sandwiches for everybody. All right. Appreciate so it. y'all go watch. Y'all go listen to that. Go Pick watch it on tonight. YouTube. It's called Hopeful Romantics, Hopeful Romantics. on YouTube, okay. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And comment. Comment under the dorm team that sent you that. Comedy Trap House. Um, so he said, y'all experiences with love, have they been mostly positive or negative? Are y'all hopeless romantics or just hopeful? I think it's a little bit in between because like, I was so young when I first thought I was in love or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I really knew what it was but i have experienced like a love for somebody so i don't think it's it's been positive for the most part marriage has been the negative because i've seen my mom go through two so it's like that part has been a little weird for me but and i think dad. she i think yeah and my dad and so but i know they love each other because they still friends to this day so i i felt the love there i guess it just mm. didn't work out marriage marriage wise so i think you're it's, looking for another husband so I think it's okay, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but what about you guys? Hold on, how do you feel about, like, do you feel like that made you think a little bit, like, do you, do you have an outlook on, like, uh, uh, relationships kind of like? You- I did for a while, but I, I had to realize that's, that's that's my mom's. Like, that's not me. You know right. what I'm saying? I, I I learned a little bit different than she did. And she grew up in a different time than, than I did. And no, that was just her life experience. But I how about in comparison to your dad? Then my but, but yeah, my dad was married again by the time I was seventeen. You know what I'm saying? So I said, oh, and I've shit. seen them, and I've seen them yeah. grow and love each other. So I think I've had both both sides, which is good because I can kind of you, you know. S- when you saw this, were you? Never mind. I'll go to the next question. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, I see what he was doing. It was, just wasn't good. <laughs> it's obese question. S- no, it wasn't. <laughs> Silas P. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, we my, crush. Uh, <laughs> my main crush for the longest time has been Sanaa Lathan. Of course, she is a lot of people's crushes, though. I was wondering if y'all had one that most may, that most may not talk about or even know. For me, it's Justina Machado. I feel most people would recognize her face but not know her by name. Look that up. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Justina She's best known for being on Six Feet Under, Jane the Virgin, and One Day at a Time. See, none of that. I first oh, really noticed Justina when she played the pregnant times? driver in Final Destination 2. Years later, I found some oh. fan-made channels. Let me see. Oh, I think I've seen her before. Okay. Fan-made channels on YouTube, and I've been hooked ever mm-hmm. since. Pretty much anything she's in, I'm watching. Hell, Dancing with the Stars right now. So, yeah. Do y'all have celebrity crush that yeah. people may not be checking Pretty for like that? Nah, my celebrity crush is people know. Yeah, I, Like who? Holly Berry and um, um, Zoe Kravitz. Yo, it's this girl oh that was on Knives Out. That played the uh Not the main girl. girl. They played the the oh the, oh the the Spanish yeah. the main Spanish. She girl. had a Mexican nice face. Yeah yeah, well, I, but I think she might I can't be. Remember what she yeah no, like. she's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. No, oh, um, I think she goes out with with Ben Affleck. That's right. Yeah, I think she's she, Ben Affleck girlfriend. Uh, here here she go right. Well, damn, where did she go? Was it Knives Out or am I tripping? Yeah, it was yeah, Knives, it was out. Knives Out. You probably see. maybe. Uh, but I just can't remember her name. Emmanuel, celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. I mean, Anna Day. Oh um, Derrick Henry. Duh. <laughs> that nigga sexy as fuck. That stiff arm he put on Josh Norman My yesterday. My God. Duh. My God. That was the end of the world. Josh for Norman's Josh another Norman. case of when you go to Rescue, your career at, goes to oh, shit. Yeah. That was her. Yeah, she Colombian. Well, he I on think. the Bills now. Yeah, she I she Colombian. I believe that's a nice fit. Yeah, nice she, 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 she looked like she got some swag. Just soft. soft, but soft. I like a girl with swag. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know to be honest with you. I don't know. Celebrity crush. What about the girl from Uncut Gems? <laughs> yeah, she. She was the yeah. white girl. Yeah, she, she, her body was, was nice. Body yeah, she, yeah, she. She, she got. It. Um, Brown Bella baby. Hey fellas, yay! Uncle Body. Um, daddy has returned. <laughs> um, body hey daddy. man, you were gone so long we almost built you a tombstone next to blue cheese. Oh, Tragic. In my, in my Mr. Omar voice from Everybody Hates Chris, I have a deep question for y'all. Mm. I don't know if y'all all are aware, but there's a lot of talk about black Americans leaving America. If y'all were to leave, what country would you choose to live and why? Many are leaving, but most fear the unknown. My only reservation is a repeat of Black Wall Street or something related. What are your thoughts? Yeah, there's a mass exodus right now. Well, not a mass exodus, but there's a big push to to really go back to Africa right now. Yeah, the Ghana, a lot of people moving back to Ghana. Yeah, Ghana. And Africa is doing some crazy shit right now because Mm -hmm. they're like separate. I think it's Kenya, maybe. They separate in from uh, France, their money and payment, their, their, their. you know their whole mm-hmm. uh, economic system. They're trying to separate from them, and then a lot of West African countries are coming together for one current, or trying to come together for one currency. And then, uh, you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on that could be, you know, it's hard for cool me to say where I go if it was in Africa because I just haven't been yet. So it's like exactly, it's yeah. just tough to say. You know, I would, it, I, it would be, you know, most obvious for me Ethiopia, but I haven't been to Ethiopia yet, and I was. You know, planning to go soon before COVID and all this, yeah. but yeah. for me, I guess Bahamas because yeah. I know it, and my family there, so mm-hmm. that'll be easy transition. But yeah. somewhere in Africa, Bahamas I need to visit first. Is like a U.S. territory. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. A it, US it, I know it's not a U.S. Yeah. territory, but I'm just saying, so close that it feels like, you know, people in Miami. Miami is the Bahamas. Miami, the Bahamas, Colombia, Mexico, oh, Puerto that. Rico. You just asked me where I'm going outside of America. <laughs> Bahamas. Yeah. S- Smiley Brown. What's up, DT? Finally, Emmanuel done brought his old ass back to the block. <laughs> Long time up, no see. No questions this week. Just wanted to say what's up, family. What's good? Hey, Cam, sorry about Dak. I mean, I don't care for the Man, Cowboys at all, but Dak is a good guy and a great quarterback. Go Bears. We 4-1. and one. Probably won't last long, though. If you know football, then you know how the Bears usually <laughs> disappoint. Peace and love. Yeah, That's man, good. it's rough out here this <laughs> season. Smiley. NFC <laughs> Lease. We trash. Chile Flix. Chile Flix. Chile Flix. Shout out to the glasses. Shout out to the, the glasses. glasses. Chile Flix. Yes. Shout out to the glasses, you know. Get your glasses from Chile Flix. 
Tap. Tap, tap, tap. That shit was shattered. I'm like, my bad, man. <laughs> What's up, family? Thank for all the love on the glasses. We'll be sending more soon. I'm curious. Have y'all ventured into Nat Geo side of Disney Plus? I'm a sucker for learning about world mm. around us, and there's a show called Critter Fixers. Oh god. Two brothers are doctors, doctors, and own a vet hospital near Macon, Georgia. That's oh, so that's funny. hilarious. That's now I gotta watch this shit. Yeah. They are funny and educational at the same time. Would definitely recommend. Yes, yeah. that's. That's predominantly what I use That's Disney a great Plus area. for. Like I'll be watching um na- um naked well not naked and afraid, the below like yeah. below zero. Life below zero. All yeah. them people live in oh, yeah, Alaska yeah. in the most cold climates. I love that shit. I started so one on, on the ancient pyramid. That shit crazy. Oh like this there's some good shit on here. Mm. My mom's from Macon, Georgia, so I gotta watch this now. <laughs> Um, in terms of Nat Geo side of Disney, Plus. yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't been on that side to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I haven't been on. It. Kayla, music question this week. A little background. I used to be the biggest Chris Brown fan. I still am a fan, just don't keep up with him as much. So the other day, I'm cleaning, and I was like, "Let me listen to that Chris Brown album he released a year ago, and I never listened to." Man, <laughs> why does that album have 32 songs? That's- 32. <laughs> That's a whole ass Avengers movie. <laughs> Long story short, I didn't listen to it. And honestly, I don't know anybody who did. I haven't come across a single person that's like, hey, that new Chris Brown album, Indigo, yeah. go crazy. I'm willing to bet y'all ain't even know the album was called Indigo, and that's because niggas are lazy and have a short attention span. And nobody's going to sit and listen to an album with 32 songs on it. Anyways, do y'all have an album song limit? If you go to listen to a new album, you see it's kind of lengthy. Does that deter you from wanting to sit and listen? Also, good morning, Trap the Sack fam. It's good to hear from y'all and have a blessed day. Yes, yep. yes, and yes. Yep. When I saw 32 songs, that's I'm like, much. let me know which ones are good because yeah, I'm not doing much. it. Yeah, I like 10 max. I just wait for them to drop the maybe. singles. <laughs> maybe 12, but 10 max. I yeah, like yeah. a precise album with a good through line story. Yeah. I think something. we figured out the formula with movies and music. Most movies, like movies, are mostly good around hour and a half, two hour mark. Yeah, that's that's the typical movie yeah, time. Yeah. That's what we're used to. Got yeah. that down. If you go over that, you better be really, really good. Yeah, yeah. And music, you know, I think we're learning that a two minute song. Yeah, that's two, two, ten tracks. Two, three. I don't mind a good three, three forty. Yeah, I mean, maybe three forty. If, if, if it's a good song, if, four ten. Yeah. yeah, it could be that long. You know, somewhere in between that, this yeah. is between mm-hmm. two something and four. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Somewhere around there is like a good track. You ain't gonna. Mm-hmm. I remember the game put out a, a song a while back that was supposed to be the longest hip hop song ever. I'm good. And I was like, I don't want to listen to all this yeah, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was cool. I guess he did it, but. Yeah, you know, I, so keep it. I keep seen it. that indigo shit. That's an end of no, nigga. I'm not. <laughs> nah, nah. I am not. Lil Wayne did the same thing though, right? He put out an album with a yeah, me if I listen. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy McCray Ford. Yo, I got another one for y'all, mainly for Rome. Would you rather be trapped in a bounce house with a Denver Broncos defensive line tackling as hard as they can? Or an actual Bronco bucking harder than a motherfucker. <laughs> Take, give me the fucking person. I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos because they defense softer than a thousand thread <laughs> county <laughs> <Jackson Bay. laughs> <laughs> Fucking jackass. Yeah, they are soft right now. Yeah, I'm taking humans. Them. I ain't fucking yeah. with that horse. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that Because that horse buck you is a wrap, nigga. Yeah, that shit going to hurt. <laughs> SL broke homie Dre. <laughs> what's that? What's up, Trap the Sack family? The block party was crazy. I'm so lit. My Lakers pulled out the dub. And no, I'm not a LeBron. And no, I'm not a LeBron on my team fan. I had to face shameful years of terrible teams and records <laughs> back to back. So, yes, I'm going to enjoy this one. Side note, if you love blue cheese, then you're out here living different and need to get your life together. <laughs> only blue cheese I love is the ones in my wallet, Blue Hunters. But my question is, if there was only one style of food you can eat for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? One P.S. style? P.S. Is it just me or when Rome repeats Cam's punchlines, it reminds me of Pootie Tang when Buddy was repeating everything Chris Rock's character said. You know, it's real hard to get into a Biggie Shouty's party, or that's just me. <laughs> My bad. Peace, love, and blessings. Yeah, when we when it's a good joke in this house, you got to repeat it. You, just, you, gotta, you gotta run it back in your head, make sure you got everything. But, when it's a good joke? Yeah, because you know, we, we'll say, like, if somebody say something funny, like, oh, you dad body. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. dad body. Yeah. This nigga said dad body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, if there one was style one style of food, food you can eat for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? I'm going to just, I'm going to have to, because I'm just going to, I think it's going to be Caribbean. I think it's going to be Caribbean. I think I'm going to have to, oh, if it, see, I'm, I'm a little confused. If it's like a genre, like yeah, Caribbean, it's a, it's a Ethiopian, a yeah, I'm not, that, that's what we going with? I, yeah, then Caribbean. I think I'm just going to have to be Caribbean food. And I love Italian. I love it, but it's just like, ah, fuck, man. That flavor. 
That flavor hit different. That flavor hit different. I think that's my answer. <laughs> I believe that's what I'm going to grow with. I mean, is seafood an asset? I mean, it's good. that's going to be part of the really Caribbean. Right. Probably, more than likely. It have to be Caribbean seafood. Yeah, that, yeah. I get, I'd go with some Ethiopian food. Represent no, out here. I'm not mad at that either. No. Either, either whatever we pick, we're going to get tired of it. And be sure. That's all you're eating for the rest of your life. <laughs> it depends on how much. But Caribbean food and Ethiopian food have a lot of they variety. They do. They do. Like, still, you got breakfast, lunch, and But if you eating it for the, diff- the rest of your life, you're going to get tired of that Yeah, shit. of course. I don't okay. know. Chad's not tired of the food he eats all the time. <laughs> Chad's he, different. That's a different nigga. Yeah, he's a different nigga. <laughs> he I'm not, he, I don't know if he a foodie like us. He's a different Purpose nigga. Purpose Patch. What's good, DT fam? Shout out to Emmanuel for the love. Got What's the four up? kids to feed, so any exposure helps. <laughs> Man, this, this week's been crazy. Government's still playing with my stimulus money. My wholesaler's playing with my satin line beanies. Mm. Flies playing around in Pence wig. Mm. Just crazy. Offset <laughs> typing like he raps. Niggas talking about a thousand dollar lineups. I thought Future was tripping when he said he'd get a hundred dollar lineup. But anywho, have y'all thought of y'all thought of y'all effort amount money? Like you never need to work again. Mine is twelve million. If not that, living in KC, one hundred twenty-five k yearly after taxes is comfortable. <laughs> Through <laughs> God's funny. favor, next year I will be there. As always, PurposePatch dot com for the satin line hats with uplifting, interchangeable patches. Beanies will be in next week. It's hard to say. Fuck yeah, them beanies probably gonna be soft. I'm gonna have to order one now. I but, saw I saw that him advertising on IG. Yeah, them beanies probably. Good. But um, purpose fuck it, need to put that on. Mm-hmm. Uh, he need he need to uh, make in, that first part into uh, a 2020 wrap up song. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> with all that like, shit going on. Yeah, all that shit. Um, fuck it, money, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. Slide me. Slide me, slide me twenty. I think I'll be all right. Now, now, what's your definition of fucking money? I think he's just like, saying where you come, where you where just you like. Comfortable. If you don't have to work another day in your life, if you don't want. We talking about per year, or we just talking about? No, this your amount. I think it's your total. amount. Because because you can take it and invest it to do what you want to. But you know, so he said twelve. Twelve ain't bad. Twelve ain't bad. Twelve million. Yeah, twelve ain't bad. Depends where you live. Depends where you live. Yeah, twelve ain't bad. I think I think I think twenty to twenty five. I think if you want to live in LA, you need that twenty. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think twenty twenty five. Because your house gonna cost you a couple million for sure, for sure. So I think give me three and I'm good. Not in LA. Yeah, not in LA. You gotta move. I don't have to live in LA. No, I'm saying you gotta live. You gotta leave. You definitely. And I don't have to live in LA. There's plenty of people living in LA. No, 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 no. No, 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 that's a one. That's a one. You only get three million. But you said I can invest in. No, you can. No, you can. You can. But so I'm living out here now. That's fine. If I got three million dollars in the account, I mean, if you if you re rock with three, do you three? I'm just saying, like, I feel like I can flip that, and I don't want to live big. Like, I don't have a necessity live like a. You gonna live inside one of them stores, Ben? <laughs> you don't have to out here. It's even small out here. It's three million. Oh, bro. Shit. I'm gonna get me a tent. Like Gail showed me. Gail showed me this house yesterday that was nine hundred thousand. It was like this little duplex thing. I like. Oh yeah, and it was out here. Damn. In the valley. Oh, I was in the yeah. valley. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 I don't. I, I mean, I don't. I don't need to live in LA at all. So. Cashville, Shari. Um, what's up, y'all? And. Welcome back to Original Dad by the Manual. My question is, if you could travel between the multiverse and stumble across a world without something that our world has, would you bring it to the world and make money off of it? Like, that universe doesn't have... Hold on, hold on. What, what, what? My question is, if you could travel between the multiverse and you stumble across a world without something that our world has, would you bring it to the world and make money off of it? Like that universe doesn't have an Amazon. Would you make an Amazon there and become rich? The catch is whatever you decide to bring there mm. only makes less than half of the money that it would make from our world. So oh, what are you man. bringing? So it's like taxes, essentially. I feel like it's like one of them things like, you know, in movies where you travel to different places and you you fuck up one thing and everything goes to shit. I don't know if I want to bring nothing from this world to the new world. I, I Unless it's something that... I don't know. I, I was just thinking about it. I don't know if I want to bring it's something. It's going to be like Brave New World where the whole, you end up fucking up and just <laughs> killing <laughs> all these niggas. Just Fuck because, up everything. Just because you said, uh, hey, man, you know, uh, you know, she could have said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, but if I had to choose something to bring there... Probably some, maybe some type of dish that we like. Because like on Dragon Ball Z, I remember the god, I think it was... Um, uh, not his name wasn't Titus. Was it? I can't remember his name. The one that looked like fucking cat. 
Beerus. 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 Yeah. Beerus. Oh, okay. And remember he Lord Beerus. remember he liked the ice cream. He kept making Boma uh, and the niggas bring him ice cream from Earth. He's the, and then oh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. he would run out of it, he would be mad. Yeah, so he just bring ice here. cream. But then that's also scary because now if you run out of ice cream. This nigga might blow, <laughs> blow something up. Look, you better learn how to make ice. Oh yeah, man. real quick. I bring something simple like toothpicks. I mean, yeah. because look, everybody uses toothpicks. Look, that's immediately a billion dollar industry, right? Also, small weapons. Oh, <laughs> remember you only don't make half kind of them. Sharp <laughs> but uh, we going I seen your the toothpick. I seen your second. Started. I seen your second part where you want us to answer this, but we're going to talk about that on podcast Monday. Okay. Bet. Tamara just called me Cherry. What's up, DT fam? What's up, Tamara? Well, it's good to see you remember your people in the sack, Emmanuel. Welcome back. So y'all, as hard as it is to talk about it, I got to address my G-man. Yeah, the NFC East is cheeks right now, but damn, 0-5? <laughs> I bleed blue all day, but I just don't know if I can take another weak-ass season for my Giants <laughs> shaking my head. Questions to y'all. Who do you see turn around this season in our conference? And have you ever come close to letting the love for your team go? As always, much love and stay safe. All right. Uh, all right. I got my answer. If I got it, I got because there's two uh, NFC in here, so I was like, let me answer okay. first possibly. It, okay. You you are uh, I was gonna go. Uh, okay. You well you wanna go first. Yeah, yeah just because I feel like y'all okay. From looking at it now, watching the games, I watch some Eagles, I watch Redskins, I watch Cowboys, I watch Giants. Sorry, Tamara. Them, that's not the team that's gonna turn around. E- Eagles is probably it, but I'm not gonna lie. I believe in Andy Dalton. I I, I can see I can see the Cowboys turn around. I, I I can see them kind of turn around. Alex Smith, I don't know. He he off the he off the leg, so I'm I'm not sure. Definitely <laughs> ain't gonna starting. be Eagles. I mean, definitely not gonna be Giants. Definitely ain't gonna be Redskins. So. It got to be Philly or Dallas. Maybe Philly because they still got their starting quarterback and their defense ain't bad. When the last time I last game I watched them play, I don't watch Washington until they play us. And um, <laughs> Dallas, you know, I'm with Rome. If Dak was still in it, I would say my team all the way, but you never know. I think Dan- Andy Dalton, I think he may get more comfortable in this system. You know, it's a new system. He may pull yeah, it off. Yeah, because he's not a bad backup at all. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, y'all defense is – the the worst. Still worst. Yeah, it's the still worst. bad. It's, the and it's still just bad. like but look, we getting people back. That's what I'm saying. We got we're gonna get Van Der Esch back. We're gonna get Sean Lee back. We had another cornerback that was hurt. That's Lee. gonna Awuze our starting. We're gonna get him back. So we're gonna start getting people, we're gonna get Randy Gregory back. So it could it, it, and then the we can get reason, more comfortable. The reason you know, I would say y'all is just because the likeliness that somebody's gonna win the NFC East at seven and nine. <laughs> Is very high. Yeah, yeah. And somebody's just gonna win at seven and nine. Yeah. And it'll probably be them. You know what I'm saying? Just because of their their offense might be able to keep up with the yeah. lack of defense, but I don't know. It's just a trash division, <laughs> man. It's just I just whatever, man. Mississippi Nino. Mississippi Nino. Cam, we lost fucking Dak. I swear for the Lord, I almost shed a thug tear <laughs> for that man. He gone for the rest of the season. We gotta deal with Andy Dalton and young offensive line. 2020 has been a whole bitch, and I just want to make it out. To all the people in the trap, if you see a sad black man standing in the rain, just leave me be. Um, I'll be all right eventually. We still them boys. As always, stay up and fuck them Washington racial slurs. I love Mississippi Nino. Real 912 Films. Who is the best TP duo? Sean and Marlon, Keenan and Kale, Will and Carlton, or Drake and Josh? Drake and Josh. So Sean and Marlon. Keenan and Kale, Keenan and Kale. Will, and Carlton, Will and Carlton, Drake and Josh, Sean and Marlon. Will and Carlton. I'm going to go with Will and Carlton. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to get to get to Sean and Marlon. Because Sean and I Marlon. love Fresh But Prince, it says. Man. Best TV duo. He says that he felt like Will and. Oh, somebody said below they felt like Will and Carlton were written better. And I feel the same way. But Sean and Marlon. Funny why Sean and Marlon. I got to give it to him. They, 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 like he said, the unspoken bond. Like they, they, they feel like. They just had a natural. It almost felt well, like you didn't write for They say Sean and Marlon kind of unfair advantage. Family has an unspoken true. bond. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I don't think it's an unfair advantage. I mean, it's just it just is what it is. That yeah. was a, you know. But I felt like they didn't write. Most of their stuff was just probably but improvised. More, yeah, more than likely. Uh, it's on Shannon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Shannon, get the cannon. What's up, fellas? I got a crazy question this week. If you were offered to name your price on a weekly payment for the rest of your life, just to venture down and back in a tight ass cave, would you do it? I'm talking like hell hole or the des- mm. uh or or the descent as a reference. I don't mm. know if I could oh. do it. Oh no. I'm too claustrophobic, but shit to name my price, I would 
be getting paid three mil every Friday. Also, morning sex is great, but sometimes if you're trying to get that anal, you got to clear it out and wash up. Mm. Just saying, y'all. LOL. See y'all later. And since we bringing food to the block party, I got to trap the sack with some boozed up cupcakes. Anything is possible. I really need to get back into my bacon bag. Oh, yeah. You talking like that? Get back in that bag. Hey. But uh, back in that I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not doing nothing for none, none of this price. I'm not going into the whole... She said as a job? It, like, it, it was like a weekly payment for the rest of your life. So if you, you choose, say you want five mil for the rest of your... Every week for the rest of your life, you got to go in this cave. One this time? tight-ass cave. Just one doing? time or every time, I'm saying? Press like a week, just to venture down and back in the tight-ass cave. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was... One me. time? But she said talking like Hell Hole or The Descent. As a, the Descent is a but wild the descent, movie. The Descent, man, why you got to bring That's that That's a wild up? movie. I'm, I'm not thinking about that movie when I... <laughs> I, I That's I the one when it was... The girls, all the girls are in the cave, and, and all a type new of little shit creatures started start coming out. Like they put, I'm gonna oh, die. It ain't worth yeah, dying that, for. Yeah, that I'm not sure if, if I can do. But if you talk about a just freaky a, ass, you movie. talking about just a cave, a tight ass cave. Yeah, I need to know the details. How far deep is this yeah. cave? How tight is this cave? Like I need How to know. How dark? That. Like it's gonna be a lot going on. Am I alone? Oh god, mm. by yourself, scary. Ooh, that's scary. No, I know I'm going in alone. Yeah, but yeah. am I out there alone? No, too? I don't think you out there alone. Like you know. Yeah. D. Smith Fitness. What's good, Trap the Sack? No question. They just want to let y'all know I'm proud to launch my online fitness training, and I'm giving all my neighbors a 50% discount on the launch until mid-November. For more information, just DM me on IG at D. Smith Fitness 30. I'm trying to be more active on it. P.S. I'm looking forward to the next block party. So y'all know what to do, community. Go check them out. DM them, D. Smith Fitness 30. Nice. If y'all are in here and need to, you know, trying to get that, to get that body right, Right before winter, and you get because <laughs> you know winter coming, it's it's gonna be bad. So uh, yeah, DM him and uh, congratulations, D Smith, the ignorant noodle. What's up, y'all? I just wanna let y'all know that an upcoming rapper hit me after last week's episode. I linked him with my producer friends that have number one Billboard al- uh, albums. Y'all helped that happen. The other yeah. thing I wanted to say was that I've been in a year long issue with that guy that helped record y'all interview. He barely has half of it. Half of it interviewed. That's just y'all. Hmm? It's like wait. He barely has half of it interviewed. Oh, maybe he didn't record uh, some half. Mm. He said, that's just y'all. There's like 10 other interviews from that tour. I'm going to have to pull up on him and get that back. If it wasn't for Corona, court cases would have been filed. I'm going to get it out, though. Just wait. That's the best part of the business. Get it, Noodle. That's part of the business. Um, Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. So, uh, Justin, I know what he's going to say because he made made, um, a DT skit bracket. Uh, What's up, DT family? What's good, man? Your house life been treating you. We are starting a uh, multitasking class for the elderly if you want to join since we've been mm-hmm. told you you can't multitask and be in the podcast <laughs> anymore. <laughs> These boys been frying me since I've been going. <laughs> God damn. Uh, but uh, all seriousness, I don't think people appreciate how great Dorntainment is and was. So from a great suggestion, I made a bracket this week that for sure this is the first one y'all should put on y'all Instagram. What if we did a bracket on what's the best DT skit? Of course, all of them aren't in there, and I left there a lot of it off, but these are my favorite with the exception of the six. I just left them off because of reasons. They should have a bracket by themselves, but Dorm Tamer, we need to give your follower your your flowers while you still create great t- content. So here you go. Man. Who wins the best Dorm Tamer skit bracket? I remember this I, I looked at it. Dope. But no, we Let can't go through it. it right now, but we can, we can look at it. But it's Ooh, you got Dick Test the Water, House of Uno. Machine, uh, washing machine, invisible dancing girl. I think I love you. Five manly ways, extreme makeover, bad bitch. Good morning, text. You got a mm. condom. Black Jill laughing. I was looking at this. I was like, we got some hitters in here. We definitely got some hitters. ass on the internet. No internet. Bumpy dick. Hug a thug. Bad boys club. Nah, my job hard. Or what gentlemen think? Y'all trying to go out? Ball on the budget. Let me get a ride. I saw my friend girl. Now, it's 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 <laughs> it living in the living room. If rap ended the day, dating the Jamaican, booty in the air. Bas- I don't. That's this, a, this, this is, is a, this is wild. One to sit down, especially do your own shit. We definitely uh, got to put it on on our Instagram. Yeah, yeah this is going to have to be a fan fun. choice right here. Like what what y'all think? Yeah, that's that's that's. But that's uh, thank you for doing that, man. That, that's great. Did did he have a? Uh, What's that one? A no, uh, no face. What do we call it? Oh, uh, uh, what's what, 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 what a, what a face, face look like? like? That is one of the funniest. That, shits. I think that's one that every time I go back, I just <laughs> that shit funny. I'm just laughing my ass off. All right, Tyler. Whew. All right, here we go. We got a book. Tyler Afro Lady Thomas. Hey, DT family. What's welcome, up, Tyler. Welcome back, Emmanuel. Glad to know you came back as a six-year-old father of three <laughs> with that Bluetooth connect. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, <laughs> trap the Sackers, hope all is well. All right, so boom. Here's the story on the X. Oh, we did ask for this, Cam. That's true. Mm-hmm. 
For obvious reasons, we will change his name to Albert. You get it, Albert? LOL, ignore me. Quick backstory. Al and I met on OkCupid in 2018. He is blind and has a lot. All right. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on. All right, all right. wait, Tyler. I gotta on. sit in for this. Okay. Like literally blind, or okay. like you need glasses to see. Oh, yo, all right. <laughs> Let me get through this because I don't want to laugh. This is, this is. He is blind and has a lot of medical issues. He was also impotent. Get can't get the wee wee up. So when we were dating, took him to six out of twelve doctors. I'm, I'm assuming she's spelling doctors visits to have a shot in his penis. Also paid for $175 worth of medicine to help him with his impotency. We dated for six months and had no sex. Fast forward to last week or so, he texted me and told me that it was much better and filled my head up with all these things that he wanted to do to me. Side note, he was Mr. Fifty Shades of Black that I told you guys about on your boss talk about sex positivity. So we made this plan to see each other. So here we go. I go over there and he's hit me with the floor play and I'm all warmed up now. So he goes to the bathroom, and we are talking from different rooms. Uh, I start to notice that he is taking a little long. So I go to the bathroom to check on him. Lo and behold, I see him standing there with a a white shoestring looking... with the, with white shoestring looking string wrapped around his hips and his penis for blood flow. Oh, and then, oh, and then shit. he's pumping himself with a penis pump. Here's where it gets scary. He didn't lock the door? <laughs> Here's where it gets scary. I go back in the room on the bed, and he comes out with a needle. He comes out over to me and says, hold it to my penis. Said, Could you push the syringe down? I'm sorry, what the fuck? So I pushed it, and it moved, and it stung him, but he seemed to recover quickly. Then he went back into the bathroom to continue pumping. Then he asked me to get his cock ring. So let's just add it up here. He had a string, a needle, a pump, and a cock ring to then put a condom over his not hard dick to try to fuck me. He goes, I'm ready. And I'm like, the fuck you are? But I had already gone this far. So we basically tried a series of several positions for about 15 minutes. Oh, damn. And damn, nothing damn. worked, of course. And then he says, this has never happened to me before. I am beyond sexually frustrated. Snooker had a needle and said, This never happened to me before. I don't even want to be mad at him because it's not his fault because he has all these issues. But how does one continue after that? So there's a story. Sorry it was so long, but I can't make this shit up. So currently still looking for a thought adventure. Much love. Wait, man, that shit made me on, uncomfortable. He blind. I'm still on he blind. Yeah, like, I, like, I'm still on he blind. <laughs> the I only can thing I can else. think of is this nigga's a diabetic. Who can't get it hard and is also going blind. <laughs> no, she said he is blind. I right? mean, he's blind. I Read mean, that part again so I make sure I heard. She said... Just that, uh, she know how black she girls said, are blind. She said, I, Al and I met on OkCupid in 2018. He is blind and has a lot of medical issues. How could he yeah, have met you then? That ain't... That ain't... <laughs> that ain't, this, that ain't Tyler, the same as like, yo, he was can't he, see. Was he blind? I don't think he, he was blind. Gotta be. Blind. He gotta be what It don't say he came and picked her up or nothing like that, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't say how he got over her. He need to pick could, me up, but it don't need to be came. her. It yeah, need to be I mean, he need, yeah, damn. Crush Paradise said, That's a sad dad. situation. This man. nigga said, that nigga had a utility belt. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> man. Yo, Tyler, that's oh, wild. Shit. That is I thought we wild. Had wild story. Would you bro. feel more sad yeah, for Bruce deep. Wayne if he if he found out he was impotent? Yeah, yeah, I'd be a Batman fan. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, man, that's a lot going on. He got saved the a neighborhood. String, he, he got a this whole thing had a string, with a string, a needle, a pump, a re- like shit, man. That shit's scary. That's man. scary, dog. <laughs> hey, but he blind. But, honestly, <laughs> past that. honestly, that the blind part's not that big. Yeah, of yeah deal. that's. <laughs> The blind part is not that big of a deal. The dick part, that's wild. we got, we got, you know, that's that's the start when you start. Are you gonna say take my eyes, take my dick? What you think? Cause look at it like this. <laughs> look at it like this. <laughs> you blind. Even if you try jack, you may be nothing. You don't know where it's going. You don't know how you where clean it up. Going. Like there's a lot, man. When I did that blind exhibit and had to go through the exhibit as a blind, that's just person, scary. That's a lot. I don't know if I could do that, to be honest. After seeing my whole life. Look, you learned how to walk, right? You learned how to drive, didn't you? All right, here we go. You can learn to be blind. Hey, y'all. Seeing y'all post a video. You can't learn to get that dick up. Oh, sorry. I skipped. I skipped. Gotta stick a needle in it. 
You gonna need a needle, a cock ring, a, a string, a jalapeno. A, this, this nigga, this nigga, had, a, this nigga had a yo-yo dick. He had a that, string. That's on a it. lot less you'll need if than if you were blind. <laughs> that's true. This nigga was doing the doggy with the dog yeah. walk with walk the dog with the walk dick. The walk the dick. <laughs> Vontel Moody. Hey y'all, seen y'all post a video earlier, and I did a double take about the break my neck. LOL. It was like, oh my god, is that a manual? LOL. Yes. No question. I'm today. back. No question today, just wanted to share something I heard from this man giving a webinar, and it stuck out to me. Not sure if y'all ever heard of it, but I'll share it with everyone. He said, poor, P-O-O-R, pass over opportunities repeatedly. Very powerful. Oh, passing over opportunities repeatedly. That's what poor is. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn, that's real. I've heard that acronym before. Uh, but what if you really just broke? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. No, but he's saying when <laughs> no, the opportunity no, no. arises. When the opportunity arises. Let me take my line out so I can enjoy some of these grapes. Oh, yeah, you got it right. Tasheen, peace. Ayo, hey, it's your boy Homeless pulling to the trap to sack with the loud car and bass uh, booming rubber band man waking up your aunties. A hey, pocket full of poses. <laughs> Change your name to that nigga. That nigga. Uh, a hey, pocket full of poses. I see you glowing. Three things. First off, huge fan. Watch you guys since 2011. Watch Machine Still Slaps, but Body Roll is my favorite. Body Roll's a good song. Body Roll's a fun uh, song. Your, your verse is my favorite. It's one of my, your favorite verses ever. I think I, li- I like it. Shoot, beat, and bop, and I'm not here. <laughs> nigga didn't say nothing. You got to say it with no words together sometimes. Put like and beat, yeah. and <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> second, uh, uh, second last month ordered wings from a spot out here. Five mango, habanero, and Hawaiian. Don't ask, just know they was bust, and I asked for two ranches. <laughs> I get my orders just so y'all know Postmates is life. So I sit down about to proceed to devour this deliciousness, right? So normally I dip my wing, but tonight I poured it on my chicken. First mistake. I pick up a wing and go to bite it and instantly regret my decision to pour the ranch them. Ungrateful thoughts at the wing stop gave me blue cheese ranch instead of that regular. I was so pissed I didn't even eat the old trash potato smelling ass cheese. Truthfully, mm. whoever invented blue cheese ranch need to be uh, be bit by a seam <laughs> of murder hornets and wasps. <laughs> Lastly, ask Jerome Hansen to do the cover, uh, the shady side up epidemic going on in the trap. I think it'll be hilarious. Oh, is mm. the Discord about is the Discord about of the package for the trap to sack asking for a friend? Y'all stay trapping in these streets. So yeah, they Bless. made they made a Discord too, which Discord is you know basically a community thing where you can chat with your fans. So they Ooh. created the whole Discord and all that. So it's been cool. We gotta um, hop in there. I, I want to hear this nigga just like. Right, I don't know what you do as a job. Who is that? Tashim. 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 Peace. Peace. Yo, your writing is good, brother. <laughs> you you need to like. Just write out your days and just write it just like that. Because that shit is funny, man. Funny. I don't know if you can make a video everybody, into everybody it, on here be but doing, that shit is funny, man. Yeah, all y'all comedy, y'all been, y'all been killing me. You know y'all trying funny? to level up. He listening to this part right now, smiling. Oh, he's, he's smiling. smiling. He in there he smiling. smiling. He getting tickled right now. Now you don't hey, want to smile no more. Hey, now Tashin, we point hey, out. Tashin, hey, take this smile off your face, dog. Chill <laughs> out. Chill <laughs> out. Uh, this episode is about what up, Trap? Uh, what up, fellas and Trap the Sack? I got a couple thoughts that have been going through my head. So the pandemic has brought a lot of things to light and expedited some other things. Mm. Malls in middle America were already dying but got worse with COVID, leaving these large facilities empty and unused. If you guys were to think of a different way to utilize them, what would you do? If I own one... Great I, question. If I own one, I'd possibly convert the space to a micro studio, giving content creators a space to utilize and rent out, kind of like those TikTok houses. Mm. Another thing, Disney has has even restructured their creative model to increase their focus on creative streaming content, especially because I foresee a big leap in internet tech with so many more people relying on it for work and increasing in streaming. Is this the time we see movie theaters go the way of the actual theater? Wait. Oh, less frequent but more focused on a full experience like Alamo Draft House. Succeeding is about know where the ball is going, not where it is. Anyway, what do you guys think? What do you see for the future of entertainment? P.S. Another random thought. I wouldn't be surprised if Apple has an eye scanner in the next generation of phones since most people are wearing masks for the foreseeable future. Um, well, Amazon's already, like, they were discussing possibly buying malls or, yeah. like, J.C. Penney's and, so they can compete with mall, Walmart and get shipments out faster. Yeah. But if it was me, I would just convert them for homeless, especially yeah. here in L.A. What it a is fantastic a huge idea. homeless issue, yeah. so they can convert that stuff for housing for homeless. That's a great idea, yeah. That would be great. Huh. That is actually Damn, a, the a day. Really the day of the post-up is done. Remember? You the post? Oh, post-up. Post up. Yeah, oh, the, the man. Day of, the day of the mall post-up, done. 
That's Post it. up, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. It was fun while it lasted. It was cool. That was a good day. You just post up at the man. ball with your boys. Chilling. They buying nothing. Beatboxing, well, no. freestyling, getting samples. Both of them are done because where you post up as a young kid was the mall in the movies. The yeah. mall in the uh, movies, yeah. man. <laughs> and, yeah. and you heard about AMC? Did y'all hear about that? The, oh, yeah. They bank, maybe going bankrupt. The, they going or... bankrupt, but they just started a new promo. I don't know. Yeah, maybe y'all can check it in your city. But for 99, 100 bucks, you could take 19 of your friends and rent out a whole theater. Mm. Like anywhere? Any any AMC. That's kind of hard. That. That's, that's kinda, what I'm saying. You could rent out a whole hard. theater for 19 friends. For $100? Or, 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 up to, I think, 19 friends for $100. Oh, that's hard. Each of this, that's it. I think it's one, you know, one one uh, theater room. Nigga, oh, that's hard. I was like, doing? I just saw that. I don't know. We gotta, hey, I don't, I don't you got to play the movies they got or any movie? That I, That's the question I didn't see. We I, I, didn't, I didn't know if they already planned it, but I saw it online. They had no. the little problem. Leave now. Go figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I said leave. Go figure it out. You uh, okay, no, you, okay. What you should have said, hey, I bought a movie theater for us for $100. <laughs> <laughs> invite this many more people. But the thing is, it's like, the, the, I want to know if you could show anything. Like, can I just request? Yeah, or could, or or it Even if not, I want to see Tenet. I want to I see, see Tenet, too. So. But I was going, that's what I was thinking. I was like, could we show some of uh, something we do on that? I don't know. But uh, it's only 19 people. So. Jasmine cool. R. Hey, DT. I'm new to Patreon. Uh, so what's up? Welcome to the sack. I wanted to listen to to slash watch some of the earlier episodes of Boss Talk. Am I able to do this? I subscribe to the video tier because I'm a visual person, LOL. Oh yeah, they all there. Like, um, you said what's all there? Uh, the uh, earlier episodes. Now the visual we didn't start till later, so yeah. I forgot which which episode we, we finally did the visual on. All the audios there, but all, not all the videos. Yeah. So that was later. Uh, video was a little bit later, but yeah, it's all the audios there. But video is definitely there too, so you can go back and um, just look in the post and just scroll down. There should be right everything right there. Hey Zeus, what to do, fellas? And Emmanuel, if he ain't outside watering the yard with his Bluetooth, this past <laughs> that's weekend, Mike. Mike be watering the yard. <laughs> this past weekend, I finally took the risk and went to go watch Tenet. And I gotta say, Cam, if you get that small window to go, take it because it's worth watching. I went during I daytime, to. and this big ass theater was so empty. I saw tumbleweeds blowing through the halls, and even the ticket attendant was on the floor just stretching. Mm. Question this week, <laughs> just <laughs> that's stretching. Funny. Question this week is about some embarrassing moments from school. The one that hunts me to this day is when I was in third grade, and I don't know what the hell was wrong with my bowel movements, but I could not for the life Everybody of me. Everybody got shit stories. Oh, man. yeah. I could not for the life of me hold my farts in. So imagine a teacher giving a lesson to ask people to volunteer, and you just hear a fart. The worst part... <laughs> 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 the worst part was when I had a chance to sit next to my crush. We were having a good conversation. In my head, I thought I had a chance, but my gas said otherwise. I lost my chances and blew her away. Y'all have any embarrassing moments? Peace and blessings. P.S. If anyone in here still wants to join the Discord, you are more than welcome. And he dropped the link in there. So if y'all want to join, dig in. Uh, well, we just answered it. The, so yeah, we, we kind of just answer answered that. that. I do yeah. have one when he said crush. Like when I was in uh, in elementary school still, mm -hmm. by the time I got back, <laughs> got back out of juvie, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I was, uh, we would go to church, you know, I was, I'd go to church every Sunday and I was in the choir. My yep. dad was, you know, m the music director or whatever. So, Claude. yeah, Claude was the music director. Big Claude. So, um, so I had a crush in, in my, the choir. Yeah. It was this girl that just fine. This little when you had your hair? This is when I still had my okay, hair. I was okay. only eight. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> so. No, no, I was probably like, I was probably like 12 because I started getting horny at this point. Yep. So, you know, when you start getting hard. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, this girl car. So, the day, the the Sunday, some like every other third Sunday or something like that, yep. the 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 youth choir would actually perform for the whole church. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I would, you know, we'll all dress up and shit and yep. we'll all go into before we perform, we go into the main um the main hall and we sit down in the front bleachers. And, you know, one of these days, the girl I had a crush on sat right next to me. And, you know, church girls are fast little motherfuckers. <laughs> because here she is. She starts kind of, like, flirting with me, like, putting her hand on me. And she oh, probably, yeah. like, she probably 13 or something herself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And she's, like... You know, don't, don't touch you. putting her hand and, yeah, don't touch. and all that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, as she doing that, I'm starting to get a little hard down here. I'm like, yeah, that's all it this, took this, back this, then. this new. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I'm trying to, feel, you know, I like this girl, and she's like, and and next thing you know, they said, "All right, youth choir, rise." <laughs> 
And and by the way, this is my father saying this. You choir, right? So it's a bunch of us. It's yeah. like three, four rows of us, right? So I get up, and she's like, she's still looking at me. As soon as she gets up and looks away, I stand up. My dick is hard as rock, standing pointed straight, <laughs> like out of because because you know that we don't like have a diving board. You, you know you got the loose loose yeah, like a dive you know, kid, kid 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 dress the clothes. Kid dress clothes. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's loose. So I'm just poking. Yeah. Immediately she look away. I punch down <laughs> and I tuck my dick so quick. And and when they say all right, everybody come to the main stage. Yeah. I'm walking like a goddamn turtle oh, yeah. trying to trying to come up. Oh, this yeah. goddamn thing. So I was just man. Bonus that was, was different back then. But luckily I don't think any. Anybody called me. I'm pretty sure my dad looked at me a little funny. He was like, this kid horny as hell, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it was so little no one saw that shit. Man, it yeah. might have been, man. Oh, yeah, back then? No, back yeah. then, might have been like a little, you know, a little toothpick. <laughs> That's why I want to go into the business. Uh, uh, Didi. <laughs> uh, Didi, neighbors, I had a little convo with my mentor last week about making friends as adults. I was on the verge of getting out of my comfort zone and talking to new people, but then Rona hit. So it's just been working house for me. I'm introverted, so it takes me a while to warm up the folks and basically work mm. alone. Yeah. So no chatting it up there either. Assuming I can't run up and you gotta say, get over that. As soon as I, as soon as I can't run up and just say, let's be friends like a school kid. What's a good way to make authentic connections without being weird? P.S. I love the blossoming where you're planted, boss talk. You guys always deliver a word right when I need it. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, right now it's kind of different. Different making friends right now in the current moment. I think but, we got to speak in terms of the regular. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. regular. I mean, like man said, you kind of got to get over. You gotta. You gotta get over. And I don't mean that flippantly. I'm trying to yeah, say yeah. that you you be you. You gotta just be you. It's okay to be weird. Yeah. And, and especially if you're honest with people, like yo, you know, I could be a little weird sometimes. I'm yeah, an introvert. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. say that to people and people understand that they're a like, little oh. more, oh, okay, you know, and then try to work it from there. Don't always depend on people. Like, you know, I, I know as an introvert myself, you know, things kind of throw us off. If the energy feels wrong, you just want to get out, get the fuck out. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes if you stay oh, good You talk like that? Me. You say fuck? No. Don't talk like that. Go, bro. Don't touch me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Castro. <laughs> Yes, how you doing? Welcome back, Amanda. You were out for a while. God and, bless. And come back aging 10 years because of that Bluetooth on your ear. God bless. And Cam, you should have... I'm a, bringing it back. And Cam, you should have <laughs> let Emmanuel read the offset post. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, it would have been. Anyway, it would have sounded the same. It, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have been exploring options, men, for the past few weeks because me and the dude that I was dating for two years decided to just take a break for a while again because the pandemic is making it hard for us with the long distance thing. I downloaded Tinder, and the first experience was funny as fuck. On the web. I matched with this dude, so I said, hey, and then he said, hello. So I said, what's up? This dude right here accused me of being a poser because he said, poser can't say what's up. No normal person would say that. And I'm like, bruh, hmm? is there a Tinder etiquette I don't know about? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, kindly enlighten me. I feel so rusty when it comes to shooting shots. Rome, can you give me good pickup lines? <laughs> Until next week, guys. Come on, Rome. Spread in peace, love, and happiness in the neighborhood. Wait, that's a girl? Yeah. Say, I want to have sex. <laughs> that'll get him right there pretty much you know that is funny uh, especially on tinder yeah, yeah, if, you, if you're just looking for tinder. some is she looking for dick or pussy I might maybe both i don't know olivia what you looking for exactly you want both or you want men well yeah i think she said men i think she, that's what she's looking for she said men. yeah so I, I, I wouldn't say you had to even use a pickup line it's just one of those things tinder it might not be the place though like that's a i feel like that's just that's for fucking like, I feel like that's what that's for. Maybe that's what she looking for. If you looking for that, then I, yeah, just, I just be open saying, and honest. Yeah, yeah listen. Hey, I'll, I'm looking for some dick right now. I ain't here to play on here. And um, <laughs> I find you attractive, and I let's get to it. Want to put the penis in my mouth? There you go. Uh, Somebody's gonna chop that up and just have oh, me saying yeah. the wildest shit. <laughs> Angela Brooks, <laughs> sup neighbors? Jeez Louise, there's a lot of questions. This might not get through, but if it does, can you each name three things that you like about yourself or that you're proud of? See you in a sec. Um, one more left. Huh? There's one more grape left. Oh, no, you got it. All right. Um, the last grape coming this summer. Three things we like about ourselves. I mean, uh, hmm? my, Those are my, well, three things you like about yourself. Uh, my discipline, my skin, and my heart. There you go. That's my three things. That you don't like about yourself? That I like about myself. Why'd you say? My, no, I like oh, myself. Why'd you say I ain't giving you that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. 
Okay. My penis, my left testicle, and my right <laughs> testicle. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, that's uh, funny. My penis, my left testicle, and <laughs> the my three right most testicle. important things. <laughs> uh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, my comedy, my reading ability, and my <laughs> love. <laughs> you got it. You got it over mine right there. For me. Oh, uh, man. All right, Jane, read to them one day. Joshua Wilson, greetings, gentlemen. Like always, I want to thank you all for the support. I'm still getting ordered for Grown Man products off the video you made a few months ago, so can't thank you enough. Also, to address the cul-de-sac, if you bought some products from me, I would love feedback, good or bad. I'm offering 10% off the next order for feedback. I just want to make yes. the best products. Lastly, you got a shout out to Discord. Only been on for a few days and it's been jumping. Nothing but peace and blessings to you, gentlemen. Glad Emmanuel back, but I see you trim that beard. Uh, I, yeah, man. Uh, oh shit! You weren't supposed to see that. Hilarious, uh, James. <laughs> James Johns. What up, DT in the trap to sack? Old pizza nigga back at it again. My question is: Have you ever fallen asleep during sex? I have, and I fell asleep giving and receiving head. I was drunk both of those times. Also, okay, I'm absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Even even not drunk for me. Yeah, yeah I've been there. Also, I'm adding a That's squirrel. So you cross over your thirties. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is my twenties. Hello. <laughs> also, I'm adding a squirrel sanctuary in the backyard for those homeless <laughs> squirrels. If you know, you know. Anyways, much love, y'all. Be careful out here. I mean, yeah, I've definitely fallen asleep. Yeah. No, I, no, no. I, I fell asleep I've while hitting it and woke up hitting it. <laughs> no, I'm not that ass. Man, you weren't like, drunk. Huh? You weren't drunk. No, I, I don't think so. I, maybe I was, to be honest with you. You but had I, to be, because... But I just remember being so tired, but wanting pussy so bad. I'll tell you, I can't do anything about tired. I'm yeah, falling I'm tired, asleep. Yeah. I'm done with no, well, this, again, this is twenties. Yep, yep. <laughs> Post thirties, now it's just like uh, tired. Yeah, this yeah, ain't yeah. happening. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not there yet. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. You know, Kurt I'm McGurk. Ready to go. No, I'm just saying, you just have one of them nice, one of them really yeah. sleepy. It ain't about you just yeah, naturally yeah, yeah, yeah. Being tired. Yeah, yeah. But if you know, if if he wake me up with some head, I'm 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 back at it. Kurt McGurk, <laughs> top of the morning, bitches. I see Manny done found his dad body ass way back to the couch. Oh, Welcome good. back. Welcome back, brother. Laugh my ass off. Okay, down to the real shit. What's the wildest pickup line you have used that actually worked? I told this one chick that she had a T.D. Jake's essence about her, meaning she was Duh. heavenly. Duh. Meaning she was heavenly. Duh. Smooth, if I do say so myself. <laughs> laughing my, <laughs> laughing my motherfucking ass so up. Myself. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. Uh, that. That's amazing. I would say it's smooth, yeah. but I'll say it's funny. That's, That's funny. funny. That's funny. Girl, you got a T.D. Jake's essence about you. Because nah. you heavenly. <laughs> no, what? That's funny. I'm you big to... and wear big suits. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think you need to get a shirt that say "Dad by No Kids." Oh my God! That's, I'm, I, that's I, a fire I'm, shirt. That, that that's is a fire, fire shirt. shirt. Dad by Maybe no I should kids. get it. That's a fire shirt. Me and uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kevin on stage. We Dad can rock some. by No Kids. <laughs> that's he got, oh, he got kids he got though. Kids. Yeah, I'll be out here. Oh, you can just say put just put Dad by it. That's Dad funny. By. Uh, Nexter Cherry. Oh shit. <clears throat> Nexter. Hold on. Dude. Nexter Cherry. Yeah, don't, don't choke die till we him. done. Yeah. What's good, guys? <laughs> don't die till we done. Then I mean, you done editing in this and I'm <laughs> <here. laughs> What's good, guys? You're coughing and choking all the way. Hope everyone doing well. My question is uh, to DT what are your top five books that Influence Slash taught you the most? Uh, we definitely talked about that, but um, Alchemist, Alchemist Four, Four Agreements. agreements. Uh, 5 a.m. club. 48 Laws club. of Power. 48 Laws of Power is a good. Ways of Superior Man. Yeah, uh, Ways of Essentialism. Superior Man. Essentialism. Five Rings. Essentialism. Um, Cat in the Hat. Okay, Cat in the Hat. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Um, yeah. One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, which is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. The Dark Knight. The, the wait, the book? Yeah. The comic. Oh, the comic. Oh. Um, Brax215, what's good, DT fam and Trapper Sack neighbors? Just wanted to start by saying a nigga is tired. Long week at the numerous jobs, but at least it ended with a, on a good note. I finally booked my wedding venue, and that thing is crazy. I never mm -hmm. thought I'd be getting married, but I'm hyped more than ever to do it now. Also, I found out after we signed the contract that AI, that AI got married there. Um, if it's good enough for the legend, then it's good enough for me. <laughs> but on to my question, have you guys that's ever got hyped? But Chuck? How you know that for a fact, though? That, that could be a lie. Like, that's some shit that you would just say. It like, could be. Oh, yeah. Hey, who gonna fact check that? Bubba, Bubba Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> Nigga Bubba Chuck. Have you guys ever got hyped for something that you didn't believe would happen when you were younger, but it's happening now? Also, versus for this week is another fun one. We got a Royal Rumble between directors. Quentin Tarantino, Spike Lee, Steven Spielberg, James Cameron, Michael Bay, and John Favreau. Hmm. I got... Take Michael 
Michael Bay. Uh, I got either too. Quentin Tarantino or Spike Lee winning. Other than nah, that, nah, other than Quentin that, say or... blessed, fuck stress, and tell the man to start showing up to work every day. This nigga been out like on he on like he on maternity leave. <laughs> Dog, I'm pregnant. That's funny. <laughs> you straight up talking about the Raiders. It's gonna be Quentin it's in gonna there. Be Quentin, yeah. It's gonna be James Cameron in there. It's and big... it's gonna be maybe Spielberg in there. From what I can remember, what was he saying? He's saying just best directing. No, he's talking about fighting. Oh, in a oh, fight. He's a Royal right. Rumble. Yeah. Oh, oh, a Royal Rumble between... Yeah. Well, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino big. Yeah. yeah, but he's going to go straight for the feet every time. That's funny. You know this nigga. This John Favreau, funny. I feel like, might, might pull something out of there. Michael Bay like blowing up stuff, so he might... All these niggas Spike crazy. Spike Lee going to throw a basketball at <laughs> <laughs> You can't underestimate crazy right white men, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, crazy white men. Yeah, crazy different. white men. Hey, you don't know. No telling them. And he said, have you guys ever got hyped for something that you didn't believe would happen when you were younger, but it's happening now? Mm, that's a good question. I mean, kind of kind of semi being, I guess, famous. Because I didn't, not that I didn't believe it was going to happen, but I was just one of them things like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something cool one day. <laughs> so yeah. maybe that's, uh, people going to know my name. And, uh, yeah. But well, I thought he meant something like, like uh, it could be something you were else. excited for a Dragon Ball Z the movie come out now, back then, now, now, and it's coming out now. You're excited or now you're we, not excited? You know, we still waiting on that real one because we had right. that fucking ass one. Because I was disappointed in that. Yeah. But what's something you were hyped about hyped as about. a kid, but now you're not as hyped I ain't going to lie, the whole Marvel shit, like, all that shit is kind of... But you hyped now for that. Yeah. I'm saying you were but hyped I, as a kid that you're not hyped for now. You oh, like, you, or you saw it and you were like, ah. Oh, you saw you going opposite of what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, he's he saying because he's saying what you what happen. you didn't think would happen, but it's it happened now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Marvel. Yeah, is a Mar- big one. honestly, Marvel. That's, that's all superhero shows. But I thought it would always happen because it did happen. I mean, it did happen, Batman but like to the scale happen. of the way, like for, seeing, for it to be a universe. Yeah, 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 together, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. That's that's, wild. that's crazy. Uh, I think we only got a couple more. Yeah. Uh, Wagwan DT fam, I think y'all should sit down and watch Tenet as a family because that shit gonna be confusing as hell, and I think y'all might. And that's what I keep hearing. And I have a roundtable discussion on the damn movie. When I took my girl to that shit, she obviously fell asleep, and I was sitting in the first five minutes of the movie like, "Oh, this shit about to be lit." And ten minutes later, and throughout, I was like, "What the fuck do all these big ass <laughs> words mean?" And I couldn't keep up. I was entertained, but I need your help on understanding everything that happened. I love that y'all incorporating different people into the DT stories, especially since I know Tristina going to be a guest one day. Uh, now nah, we can't say that just yet. Mm-hmm. And I know y'all going to be stressed and confused as hell at whatever story she says out her mouth. Keep up and work. Uh, keep up the good work, Kings. P.S. Cam, Dak ain't going to be a cowboy next year. And you can, you, can, you can blame your racist owner for that because two things. If this was Tony Romo, <laughs> Tony would have been signed. And I strongly believe that your team will trade multiple first and second picks to get Trevor Lawrence. Jerry won a white QB to be his leader, and it's a clear as day. I mean, we won't know till it happens, but we shall see. We shall see. Well, they got rid of. T- oh no, Tony Romo retired, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brandon Griffin, what's up, DT fam? I feel bad. I just joined the neighborhood, but I've been watching you guys since at least 2011. I want to make sure y'all gonna let me stay without raising my rent. Number one, uh, blue cheese is amazing. <laughs> Ketchup is trash. All right, now you what? Now you wild, you wild. Ketchup, yo, ain't trash. how the disrespect for ketchup? No, no, is you ain't gonna insane, put blue dog. cheese in front of ketchup. Now, now you really wild, and mm-hmm. I ain't gonna. I'm a cat for ketchup on that one. Like you tripping? See, I don't even have an eternal hate for blue cheese like they do. Like blue cheese is like whatever to me. I'd rather have ranch. I yeah. fuck with ranch, but blue cheese is like you know it's all right. I mean, I never really requested, but uh, ketchup is King Kong, baby. Come on, uh, now. Number two, get well to Dak Prescott, but it's bird game for life. Fuck your quote unquote football team, Emmanuel. LOL. I ordered two pairs of glasses. How many Super Bowls y'all got? <laughs> I ordered two <laughs> pairs of glasses from you guys, but now that I'm in the neighborhood, my house will be the one blasting Meek Mill at random hours of the day, only because it hurt when Mike said he never even liked the intro. No, that that wasn't Mike. I think that was me. I said it was just a lot of noise. Uh, my I'm question, sure. though, what was sure the wildest right. clothing phase you guys went through in your college years? I gotta say, I wore the swag scarves way longer than I should have. LOL. Swag scarves. Also, fuck <laughs> Apple for selling a three thousand dollar phone with no charger. LOL. P.S. You guys should link with with Billy and Delay for an episode um, of you. Did you miss me, podcast? You know, I went my yeah. I was I Billy hit me up a while back to do do the podcast. We could we should have gone there or either had them on here. That'd be funny. I'd be dope. Which one? Yeah. Uh, they got a podcast called Did You Miss Me with uh with. Billy Sorrell and D D Lay. They, 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 it's a it's a funny podcast. Yeah, Mike go. I think Mike went on it. Yeah. Um, DB shot his bird game. Bird game need to get healthy. Oh, you talking about the uh, Eagles? Um, but did we have what was the question? What was the wildest clothing phase you guys went through in your college years? I mean, shit, just a big clothes. It was just, 
Oh, the, I mean, the rock when star we were chains. in college, rock star was rock popping, star phase, and yeah. then that '80s shit started popping, where everybody was wearing like them Kanye glasses and all. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, looked like it, and the, the tight jeans started coming in, yeah. and uh, three more. These are these are short. Uh, well, the last one is. Uh, pocket full of posy. Hey, hey, friends, are y'all watching the re-release of these black TV shows on Netflix? I'm snuggling my way through Moesha. Yo, she was a terrible friend and mad annoying. <laughs> the, the fat shaming and classism. Moesha. The fat shaming and classism is mind blowing. Have y'all ever watched something from your childhood as an adult and it been partly ruined? Anywho, may positivity continue to flow your way. Bliss and blessings. I ain't gonna lie to you. When I when I had went back and watched the rest of the Ninja Turtles after the first one, I said this ain't good. This ain't good. After that, the first one, it was the first. Was the, the second one was, was the Raphael the tub. That was the That's first my favorite one. one. That was the first, yeah. So after the, after you ain't the like first, the one with uh, what's the name, Vanilla Ice. No, no. Uh, I, that, don't get me wrong. It's it still brought back memories, but when I'm watching it as a whole, I'm like, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't. Yeah, of course not. That's how I felt about this movie. What's it called? Spawn. Oh my gosh. When I was a kid, I was like, oh, black superhero, let's go. You know what I'm saying? I thought the movie was fantastic <laughs> as a kid. Nigga, I watched that shit like 10 years later and almost threw up that in my bad. mouth. Like, oh, well, this movie is terrible. Just mm. terrible. Blade still holds up. Blade holds up. Blade's amazing. Blade Blade's amazing. Up. But yeah, uh, Spawn. Ugh. Yeah. And I've been watching. I watched uh, I watched the Girlfriends episode the other day. I was like, this is a good show. But Tony is annoying. Dog. She just... Uh, is that... who? Which one? That's the, uh, the taller, uh, dark skin. Um, uh, With lips? Yeah. we. It's funny. We met her. That, that's how I was yeah, supposed to we, say. Yeah, we met Yo, I, listen, we went to a party one time. Should I say the story? We got time. I, I should yeah, we, probably, I, I, I'm going to come Patreon, back to that story. I mean, the podcast. We gotta, podcast. I'll bring you it write up. it down so you remember to tell my, it. My girlfriend's encounter. Yeah. Tip a tat. Hey, guys, just join your Patreon. I wanted to show you love. You guys are great. Well, thank you, tip a tat. Welcome to the neighborhood. Last question. Baller back. Top of the morning, Trap the Sack. I hope everyone in their family is doing well. Since Uncle A-Man is back in town to pay child support, I would like to hear his answer to my question last week. Still the superpower of a fictional superhuman Plus by having money. sex, but their power is out of control and a danger to your life during uh, danger to your life during sex. I've gotten a lot of great answers, but I still pick Storm from X-Men for that well, Hurricane P. Hurricane P. Well, Hurricane P. <laughs> Basically, if you, you could have sex with one of the female characters and take, uh, sorry, let me not say female character, one of the women characters, and <laughs> and once you have sex with them, you take their power. But it's, uh, it could hurt you, too. So if you have sex with Storm, you take her power, but you might be getting electrocuted while you're fucking. So, uh, so while I'm getting the power, I might get hurt. While oh, I'm yeah, while you have having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once we're done, I'll yeah, have you got the power. It, yeah, yeah. Storm ain't bad. Storm ain't bad, but that's a lot of electricity. I don't, I don't know. That's... So, like, if I'm... Ha that don't make sense, though. I mean, it's just a... Like, if I'm having... Like, if there's a female... What's her name? Marrow? There's yeah. a, a female Wolverine type mm -hmm. girl. If, I, if I'm having sex with her, I have to get stabbed You might. You might. Before... You, yeah, you might. You might get stabbed. Or you might... Or, yeah, it, it, or while you're rolling in the bed, her thing could hit you by accident or something. Like, you know, it's just... The Stor I mean, Storm is kind of like what other female here superheroes y'all want to have sex with? That I said, I said you maybe, want I said maybe Wonder Woman, but it's like, or yeah, I can't do yeah, Cat I Woman, or because I'm just gonna be a, a cat. I don't fuck with cats. Who, who the she black, don't have powers? Who, who, the, have powers, who the other yeah. black female superheroes? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the thing. All right, so, so I'm said, out. My spicy question today is this: If you were suddenly selected to be the di dictator of a small country, what would be your first three acts as dictator? This includes laws you would want to put into place. Your little country is peaceful island that is completely sustainable on its own, with loads of value, tapped and untapped resources. My most controversial answer to this question is creating a heavily regulated child labor system. Now, hear me out. Uh, work could be part of the school system. Kids do basic and safe tasks like assembly line sorting for 30 minutes or more. Everyone gets breaks, food is provided, and kids get a bonus recess. Everyone gets paid and kids can use their own money on toys and candy. Older kids can manage younger kids, try out working in different industries, substitute work with programs that build trade or computer skills, or choose not to work. Either way, it would help instill work ethic in young people and help them get internships by providing experience in that field. It could also help struggling or single parents like a productive daycare program. Ideally, would that be a bad thing? Maybe I'm just crazy. Ha ha. Stay healthy, DT. Enjoy the WAP from your imperial hoes. God bless. That's a, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I don't think that's a terrible thing. No. But, but that's then something it, I would have to think about. I would have to think about, but kids, and that's, this question is something you have to think about. Like, three, if you're a dictator of a small. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't. That's, a, that's I'm gonna a, make everyone read the four agreement. That's yeah. That's a load of <laughs> That's that's mandatory. First off, school, read. Hey school's man, everybody just show be, love, you, man, and just just stop. Four agreements. I'm gonna teach you about finances, all that stuff, the shit that really matter. We ain't doing that algebra shit. We throw oh, yeah, all that no. out. I mean, you need some scientists. You need some, you know, engineers in the community. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that's that ain't you. Said that ain't, Everybody that ain't gonna true. be YouTubers coming out you just learn school. that where you want to learn it or whatever. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Couch Chronicles. Right. Thank you for your questions as usual. Hey, these questions are getting long. I just want I gotta say, hey, y'all gonna have to like trim them down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just like keep them, just keep them just, a little tighter, a little, 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 little tighter. You know what I'm saying? If you can, so we can get through it a little. You know, if you got and we to, can have more people if it's tighter. Yeah, and shorter, if you, you got to explain some, I mean, I get it, but you know, try to you know try to you know squeeze it in a little bit. But we love. You guys. I love the questions, man. Thank I love you. y'all. And, uh, Appreciate it. Good jokes. Good jokes. We'll see you next week. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, what's her name? Mystique. She would be the best person to have sex with. I don't, uh, I don't know about taking her power. Because you could change into different women. She could change into anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? For sure. For sure. Anybody you want. She better not do no stupid shit and change to no animals. I'm going to be mad. If, well, honestly, if she... to a dude while she <laughs> playing oh, around with you, I'd be mad. <laughs> But even her blue like that would kind of freak me yeah, out a little. Yeah, yeah. I, I hit blue, though. Shut I hit blue. You hit blue? Yeah, I don't know. But is her pussy kind of spiky? It might, it, might, it might be blue. Oh, my God. You remember right, that so. movie where it had the vagina, the, the vagina had teeth or something? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, was it called no. teeth? Or oh, it was called mm, something? That's yeah. scary. All right, we love you guys. Peace. That's what it was called. Tap. Teeth-ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs>